in restoration comedies the following is true except so now they are going to give you four options three of those options will be correct and one of them is going to be wrong although you know what restoration comedies entailed the way they frame the sentences you are likely to get trapped so let us look at the four options the first option is the london life of hedonistic young men is portrayed if some of you do not know what hedonistic is forget it don't waste your time thinking what that word is about the london life of young men is portrayed second names encapsulate traits so the names and the qualities match suppose we look at a play like sheridan's uh, the rivals sheridan's the rivals is a much later play you know much later play than the the truly tra the restoration plays but still there is a character called lydia languish so the name encapsulates her qualities she is languishing in love traits names and traits will match so this is there this is there in restoration plays the first the london life of hedonistic young men is portrayed yes the life of young men is portrayed then names and capsulate traits yes third unchaste women widows and cuckolds scarcely make an appearance and the fourth option is the heroines seek a say in the choice of a marriage partner now if you don't read the options properly what you will do is you will get stuck in you know those big words that you may not know the meanings of or you might get stuck in one option and you might get puzzled and you might think was this there was this not there leave it the answer is very very clear but they have done something they have twisted it in some way now look at the fourth option the heroines seek a say in the choice of a marriage partner now you'll wonder whether this was there was this there in any play was there a heroine who wanted to say that you know my choice of marriage partner should prevail so you you'll stop there don't do all that this was a feature of a uh, restoration comedy the answer is the third option unchaste women you know women of loose moral character widows and cuckolds you know where the woman is uh, sort of being uh, very deceitful she is being unfaithful to her husband and so the poor husband husband is getting cuckolded scarcely make an appearance this word scarcely hardly is it true that in restoration comedies women of loose character scarcely put in an appearance no in restoration comedies women of loose moral characters were almost always present this was a feature of restoration comedy uh, restoration comedy is relatively vulgar and women of low morals unchaste women women who were trying to fool their husbands these were stock characters in restoration comedies so this word scarcely might confuse you 
you have to know that this is the thing this is not true unchaste women widows and cuckolds scarcely made an appearance no they almost always made an appearance so your answer has got to be 3 this is one thing let us look at two more questions similar to these where you might get trapped let me read out the question which is not a characteristic of the victorian age which is not go through those not questions properly and see the options properly don't get stuck at big words the answer will be very very clear but you are somehow missing it which is not a characteristic of the victorian age first option the rise of a highly competitive industrial technology you know that this was true of the victorian age the industrial revolution with all its evils had made its appearance and so this uh, industrial technology being very highly competitive was there in the victorian age the next option we are looking for something which is not a feature of the victorian age and this thing is a feature of the victorian age the second option is an emphasis on strictly controlled social behavior and so victorian prudery you know victorian women were prudes they had to, their skirts had to be that long they couldn't be shorter their necklines and their sleeves had to be that long so prudery was very much a part of the victorian culture and social behavior was also very regulated so this is also true about the victorian age an emphasis on strictly controlled social behavior this is also true the third a romantic focus on home and family you may look at the word romantic and think that oh this has nothing to do with the victorian age it perhaps has something to do with the romantic age no a romantic focus on home and family let this option be for the time being go on to the fourth the growth of rural traditions and movement from large cities this is the answer in the victorian age both these elements rural tradition and large cities they are confusing you here the movement in the victorian age was from rural tradition to large cities and these people are saying the growth of rural traditions and movement from large cities they have completely inverted it this is the answer this is not a feature of the victorian age the growth of rural traditions no no the decline of rural traditions happened in the victorian age and movement from large cities not at all the movement was towards large cities so this is the feature which was not a feature of the victorian age now let us look at the third question at the beginning of the restoration period there was a seismic shift don't stop at that word seismic to see what it means leave it shift in the social political and religious attitudes of the english which of the following statements best describes that shift they are asking you about the features of the restoration 
and not they are not asking you socially they are asking you at the beginning of the restoration period there was a shift in the social political and religious attitudes of the english which of the following statements best describes the shift when they have given you the word beginning you have to remember what came before the restoration and what was there before the restoration before the restoration you had the commonwealth period it was the puritan age puritan age commonwealth period parliamentary democracy these were there from there a shift is going to happen now see the options first england shifted from an aristocratic catholic monarchy to a parliamentary democracy if you know what came before the restoration and it was the commonwealth period it was the puritan period it was the period of the parliamentary democracy now there is no question of catholic so a is not the right option because england is not shifting from a catholic monarchy at all and there was no monarchy in commonwealth monarchy was dissolved and there was only puritan puritanism you had parliamentary democracy so these were the features b option b england shifted from an atheistic oligarchy to a deistic squirearchy don't get involved in all these big words you have to you have to remember these big words are only meant to confuse you third option keep the second option because you may not know the meanings of all these words third england shifted from a republican puritan commonwealth to an aristocratic anglican monarchy you should understand that anglican stands for protestantism so england shifted from a republican puritan commonwealth yes england shifted from the commonwealth to an aristocratic anglican monarchy anglican is protestant monarchy is the rule of a king so charles the second came to the throne and he had to turn protestant so protestant monarchy anglican monarchy from commonwealth this is the correct answer but you are likely to get trapped in the fourth option look at the fourth option also england shifted from a parliamentary democracy don't just look at parliamentary democracy and think that yes yes in commonwealth period that parliamentary democracy was there this must be the answer don't do that to an aristocratic catholic tyranny you have to remember that although james the second the brother of charles the second was a roman catholic charles the second himself had to turn protestant in order to become the king of england in 1660 and so england did not move from parliamentary democracy to catholicism england moved from parliamentary democracy to protestant and monarchy so your option should be your answer should be 3 and not 4 3 and 4 at a quick glance they may appear similar but the third has the word uh you know which stands for protestantism and the fourth has the catholic word which is wrong okay so anglican is protestantism and that is the truth charles the second became king and he had to become 
protestant you have to remember this you'll have to check the options and see where you're likely to get trapped practice in this way